All right, Muxy finally caught up. So I'm looking pretty good here. There we go. Alrighty, this is the most prepared I've been in ages. <laughs> is that a bad thing or a good thing? We have yet to see. <laughs> Trying to figure out where to put this. Um, tip bar, but I guess right there is the best place. That should be fine. It won't be in the way of anything, at least not right now. <laughs> All right, that gives me just a few minutes to uh, go fix my phone. Give me one second. What? Where? Where? Where'd you go? Right here. To the receipt you sent to me. Merchant Twitch Interactive Inc. Is, so I'm thinking oh, it's one of the streamers I subbed to. Oh, okay. Probably Spooners, because it just renewed last night. Okay. To be honest. Huh? To be honest.
And actually, I can aim that down just a bit more. There we go. How's that look? I think that's as good as we're going to get. <laughs> Got the tip bar along the top, but it's not blocking anything. Because we're not printing on the very, very, very edge of the bed. We're just getting kind of close. So, as everybody can see now, we have first layers are printed. And we are now working on the second layer. So, I tried to get all the pieces on the bed and I could fit them. But because of the way the firmware interprets the data from the slicer, I had some of them come off and were missing, so I rearranged it. So basically, uh, I'll just have to run the SD card twice. So basically, I'm doing half of each. And then um, we'll see how they fit on the actual window and whether or not I'll need to make any adjustments. It's kind of funny with the uh, length of our names. <laughs> it's like a stair reverse stair step effect. Well, not reverse. It is a stair step, depending on which way you're going. I did a ton and ton of tweaking on this thing today to uh, get the bed level just right uh, get my uh, the placement on the bed for all the parts just right so they all fit um, like I said I tried to set it up to where I could print everything at one time and I could fit it on the bed in the slicer but when I put it in the CR 10 and it interpreted the slicing instructions it would just like eliminate a couple so I just reset it up to where I can print half of the frame pieces that I need at a time Not that one. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I can <laughs> scroll it up. Is that better? As soon as it catches up. It won't fit. I tried that. Well, then it'll be underneath the, uh, and I suppose I could try to make it shorter. How's that look like that? Okay, I'll do it that. Make it a little wider? Or not? Um, hang on, I'm playing with something. Hey, no. at least you... Oh, that would be perfect. Just make what? It a little wider. What? Where? Right there. Right there? No, back over... There? There, right there. Right there. Just a fuzz wider? Just a fuzz wider, okay. Right there? There? I don't want to go too much. No, I mean wider as in height-wise. Oh, height-wise? 
No, because then it gets longer. Yeah, I, I understand what you're doing. There we go. That's as good as it's going to get. Yep. Uh, one thing I also discovered while I was uh, doing my testing this morning is when the uh, hot end got too close to the extruder, the Bowden tube was binding up. So I have a whole bunch of Capricorn tubing that I bought a long time ago, knowing that I would probably be using it at some point. And um, I took the old Bowden tube off, put the Capricorn tubing on, and that solved that problem instantly. So, so far, I've had to replace the temp sensor, which was no big deal. I got that done. And I've uh, taken the original Bowden tube off and replaced it with Capricorn tubing. But at, uh, right now it's going good, so I cannot complain. And these are the window, uh, the, uh, this frame set goes for the Fun King, uh, window. I don't think I said that. Ooh, I got food. Alright, just, just, just set them there. Uh, no, not really. Uh, what I could use is the roll of white hatchbox PLA that we got, just in case I run out of this. Because that one, we basically, I got that exactly specifically for, um, oh, I'm going to put those in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to busy myself uh, putting the blue strips in the CR-10 to make it look pretty I'm the yes I don't need it right now I can't, I can't. you leave that alone
I don't know what whites do I have <laughs> besides the hatch box. I did I have to look at it. <laughs> Let me see. <sighs> this is Maker Geeks. I don't have another white. Um, I thought, because I thought we bought a hatch box. If we don't, that's fine. I'll use this one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we did not get the white. Personally, I think I'm going to like having the um, blue in here, not simply for the aesthetic, but I've noticed that um, these little channels are basically a dust magnet. So if anybody wonders why I'm taking the time to install this stuff, it's to uh, to make it so I don't have to blow the dust out of them every five seconds. I'm going to have to try to be very careful, though, not to 
hit the bed. And that one I'm putting upside down. <laughs> So far, I really like this stuff, too. It's very easy to install.
Uh, give me a minute. Ah, as soon as I finish installing this. I actually have uh, Fusion 360 running, so I can show you the STLs. It won't be in color, but you'll at least be able to see the, uh, the shapes of everything. Sorry about the delayed response. We'll get to you eventually, as soon as, uh, as, soon as the wife notices your comment <laughs> and relays it to me while I'm working here. <laughs> and as as a lot of uh, 3D printing people and YouTubers and whatnot have stated, this trim adds absolutely no functionality to the CR10 as far as printing goes. However, it doesn't mean it doesn't have a purpose. And my purpose for it is to keep the dust out of the, um, the extrusion slots. Yeah, I'll, I'll get there just if you'll just be patient with me. I promise I'll uh, I'll show you what they look like in Fusion 360. I appreciate that you're uh, willing to uh, be patient. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, if you go down, if you scroll down on the page, uh, my Instagram link is uh, further down in my panels, and you can go check it out. I, I will get to it eventually, but it'll save you time if you just do it yourself. <clears throat> Also, if you follow me on Twitter, at Ren, R-E-N, Tinker, Dork, uh, I posted it on Twitter, too. And it's not too far back in my uh, postings yet. And you can see the uh, full-sized picture with my stepson holding it to, to appreciate how big it really is. Uh, the other picture is fine. It's just you don't get a sense of scale with that picture. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, well, you 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 did uh, kind of sort of grow up at the end of the groovy phase, so you know, right? Well, not exactly that way. It's a modified version of that way. Well, it's like back when you used to say, that's bad, man, and you really meant that's awesome. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, we haven't done the hard math yet, but a rough guesstimate is 85 hours. And that's as close of an estimate as I can get until I finally uh, quit being lazy and um, actually add it up. Ah, sorry. There may be a few interruptions in the video service while I uh, attempt to cut this stupid trim over here. That's interesting. <clears throat> and the That's okay. The um, the knife did too. Oh, it has a push button release. Okay, I see. Do not want to lose my headphones here. <laughs> yes. 
Oh, and just so we're clear, the frames I am printing right now is for the Fun King 3D window that I did first. It's a smaller window, but the channel size will be the same. So if this fits the Fun King uh, pretty good, at least as far as the channel that the glass sits in, it should be okay for uh, spooners. All right, um, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Screw it. Yes, that's the smiley face one. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm responding to you as you read them to me. Kind of wish they gave me more of this trim stuff because. I'd like to run some down the center too. Still going to be better than nothing. No. Yeah, I'm going to have to find out where I can get more of this stuff. <laughs> I am not going to do the far side right now because there's too much in the way with the extruder and everything. 
I will do it later. But it looks better. It looks way better. It's all blue now. Yeah, and sorry about auto Twitch's auto mod. Um, but anyway, my wife, my wife's pretty well on top of that. We're we're getting we're getting used to that. Oh yeah, that's fine. I was just since I sat down and saw what happened, I thought I'd. All right, uh, Fusion 360, here we go. So here's the uh, different frames that I've made. And we'll get a uh, kind of a... So this big channel here is where the glass is going to sit in. That little channel is where they interlocked with each other. I'll turn it around on the back so you can see. So there's this little T that sticks out on the male side. And if everything works out right, they should fit right into the uh, T on the female side. And you can see I made a corner and a straight and then I extruded um, I used a canvas and the um, uh, spline tool but you can see I've got different layer heights so I can do different colors what? I'm not seeing anything. I'm just seeing... Oh, I forgot to turn it on. Eh. <laughs> I mean, I've, I'm in Fusion 360. I forgot to turn the window on. Uh, so I'm going to uh, shrink this video window now that I'm... I'm sorry. I'm dumb. That looks good. Hopefully that's good. So anyway, um, let me go back to, so you can see I did two different uh, frame styles with lo the logos, uh, one for Spooner, one for Fun King 3D. Um, it's, they've got the channel in them where the glass is going to sit that big thick channel and then this little channel you can see a piece of I'll go back to the back again is makes a T shape and the male part of the T fits into the female part of the T at least in theory uh, pan Like I said, uh, to get the the shapes, um, both Spooner and Fun King sent me pictures of their logo, and I imported them into Fusion 360 as a canvas, and I used the spline tool 
to um, extrude them out and uh, I did different layer heights on Fun Kings because it's going to be multiple colors. So I haven't decided what color the main body is going to be yet once the um, once these print out. Um, these ones are going to be white. They're just a uh, prototype to see how they fit. And then I'll print it with uh, some regular PLA. Yeah, it should look good. I'm hoping. <laughs> There's a side view. So I chamfered the edges. But anyway, there's that. And I can turn that off and pull that back. Pull it back into shape. There we go. Something like that. And uh, I'm sitting at that card table where I was at yesterday, but the uh, printer is actually behind me, uh, sitting on top of the washing machine. <laughs> actually, yeah, dryer, sorry, I said wrong thing. It's sitting on top of the dryer, so it doesn't shake while the bed's moving, because it was shaking a lot the other day when we when we were printing that cat and I do not need it shaking while we're printing these cuz the cat didn't matter these I need to see if they fit so it does matter a lot mm. oh thank you for the cheer that's awesome eventually Muxy will catch up and see it Yeah, I'm sorry. Muxy's behind right now. Yeah. My alert is on, but Muxy's being slow today. Eating my uh, dinner here.
usually I wait for dinner, but uh, this is going to be a long print. And we were all hungry, so you know how it goes. Hmm. Come on, Muxie. It took him forever to uh, show that I was live today, too, so... That's weird. I don't think you did it right. I can't tell because I can't I can't even try to cheer in my own channel. It's Twitch Twitch blocks that. <laughs> For probably very good reason. You could you could try, hun. If you click on the little bit image, and then you click on the, um, oh, there's a space in there. It has to be, right. it has to be cheer 100 with no space in it. Sorry. Now that I remember. Yeah. Or cheer 1. No exclamation point. So, why don't you just cheer once just to show them? I did. No, you didn't. Well, because I haven't hit chat yet. There you go. So, it's cheer, no exclamation point, no space, and then the number. Okay. Just no. FYI. Or just go down to the little bit box. It's not required at all, but... Just so you know how to do it. I'm going to hear that all night. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the bit noise. <laughs> but that's fine. It's the thought that counts.
Well, it took me a minute to remember, wait a minute, there's no space there. <laughs> I knew the exclamation mark was wrong, because that's like a command. Uh-huh. Yeah. The rooster's attacking me. Who's attacking you? The rooster. Oh. It won't let go. Hold of a napkin. It just wouldn't come out. Yeah, because it was kind of jammed in there. He's overstuffed. Okay, I feel better. There we go. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm going to mute because I need to blow my nose.
I forgot I had that muted. I'm back. Okay, so I can do that. Can you type something into chat so I can see if the bots unfroze? Please. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I got nothing. I'm going to have to restart the bot. Maybe. Nope, I'm going to have to restart it. Hang on. The bot is having an issue connecting at the moment.